We've all been there, happily singing along to a song with our friends, until you notice that they're all staring at you in disbelief. Nick, they say, do you really think this city was built on sausage rolls? Because it's actually built on rock and roll. Oh, the shame, the embarrassment. But I'm here to say that everyone mishears lyrics from time to time. There's even a term for it, a mondegreen. Writer Sylvia Wright coined the term in 1954 after hearing the line laid him on the green in a Scottish ballad as Lady Mondegreen. And these Mondegreens have been ever present in pop music since. I'm Nostalgic Nick for Do You Remember? And today we're going to be taking a look at some of the most ridiculously misheard lyrics in music history. And I'll say this slowly as to avoid a Mondegreen. Be sure to hit the thumbs up for us and subscribe to our channel for even more. But now let's miss here together. Purple Haze, Jimi Hendrix. Excuse me while I kiss the sky. In 1967, Jimi Hendrix was on top of the world. A guitar virtuoso, Hendrix, had taken the world of rock and roll by storm, releasing hit after hit, dazzling in front of hundreds of thousands of fans and only taking time out of his busy schedule to smooch some dudes. Or at least that's what listeners thought when they heard his song, Purple Haze, which contains the iconic line, excuse me while I kiss this guy, except that the line was actually, excuse me while I kiss the sky. Fans can be forgiven for mishearing this lyric though, as guys are kissed far more frequently than the sky. But hey, it was the 60s and psychedelics were everywhere. Blinded by the Light, Manfred Mann's Earth Band. Blinded by the light, wrapped up like a douche, another runner in the night. Bruce Springsteen originally recorded the song Blinded by the Light in 1973. And although all the lyrics were intelligible, it wasn't until Manfred Mann's Earth Band covered it in 1976 that A, the single became a massive hit, and B, everyone rocked along to the wrong lyrics. Due to Mann's, um, interesting pronunciation, the line revved up like a deuce, a reference to gunning a deuce coupe car, sounds remarkably like wrapped up like a douche and I think it's understandable that people think these are the lyrics because a douche whether the feminine hygiene product or a loathsome person is best wrapped up and thrown away after use tiny dancer Elton John On the close of tiny dancer. It was 1972 when Elton John released his beautiful single Tiny Dancer, and the world fell in love with it. And for a decade, everyone sang the song's correct lyrics no problem. But then the 80s came, and Taxi and Who's the Boss became two of TV's biggest hits, watched weekly by hundreds of thousands of people. And Tony Danza became a massive star which had the unfortunate side effect of making people mishear the lyrics to Elton John's song, as Hold Me Closer, Tiny Dancer morphed into Hold Me Closer, Tony Danza. And while I'm not denying the allure of being held comfortably in Danza's big, strong arms, this Mondegreen transforms Elton's poignant song into a much sillier affair. The 12 Days of Christmas Four calling birds, French hens, turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Sometimes a Mondegreen becomes so entrenched, sung wrong by so many people for so long that eventually even people who knew the correct lyric give up and the words to the song themselves are just changed. This is exactly what happened with the classic Christmas Carol, The Twelve Days of Christmas. The gift for the fourth day of Yuletide celebrations was originally for Kali birds, with Kali being a regional English term meaning coal black. But because literally no one outside the English countryside knows this, the line was pretty ridiculous and everyone always just sang calling birds. And in 1909, Frederick Austin simply changed the lyrics and the rest is history. So keep at it, Tony Danza fans. There's always hope. I want to hold your hand, 
the Beatles. It's not just ordinary people like you and me who mishear lyrics. Massive music stars do too. In 1963, the Beatles released I Wanna Hold Your Hand, and people everywhere thought that when the Fab Four was singing I Can't Hide, that they were actually talking about their love of weed and proclaiming I Get High. Even legend Bob Dylan thought that they were smoking the devil's lettuce, so he brought a gift of marijuana to their hotel in Manhattan in 64. The Beatles ended up smoking weed for the very first time that day with Dylan, and a years-long psychedelic journey was started that would result in some of the finest pop music of all time. Thank you, Monda Greens. Rock and roll all night. Kiss. Every day. This tune by the face-painted Rocker's Kiss is one of music's ultimate party anthems, but due to a misheard lyric, to many people the song sounds like it's being sung by a middle-aged father of three. I wanna rock and roll all night and party every day is often heard, I wanna rock and roll all night and part of every day. Which is hilarious. I imagine a rock star saying, all right guys, I can rock with you, but only for part of the day. You know, from noon to about four, I'm taking the kids to the aquarium. And we're all for time management, but this Mondegreen definitely changes the meaning of the song a bit. Bad Moon Rising, Credence Clearwater Revival. What's the worst thing that happens at a concert? Definitely having to pee right in the middle of the show. You gotta make your way through the crowd and then locate a toilet while missing the music you paid for. Which is why fans must have been overjoyed when they heard Creedence Clearwater's new Bad Moon Rising. Because at the end of every chorus, John Fogarty is kind enough to point out there's a bathroom on the right, thereby saving everyone precious minutes. Of course, the actual lyric is, there's a bad moon on the rise, just as the name of the song implies. Applies, but I still always check for a restroom on the right side of every venue first. Like a virgin, Madonna. Like a virgin, hey, that's for the very first time. Madonna's Like a Virgin is about how a new lover has made her feel reborn, or as she puts it, shiny and new, which is why people are very confused by the line, like a virgin. Touched for the 31st time. Very few things are shiny and new after the 31st time. Heck, I cracked my iPhone the sixth time I used it. But 31st, while maybe more accurate for Madonna in 1984, is of course not the line. The correct lyric being, touched for the very first time. However, the Mondegreen in this case is pretty funny, and I still can't help but sing it every time I hear the song. Living on a Prayer, Bon Jovi. In most situations in life, it matters whether or not you are wearing clothes. You can't just show up at your nephew's baseball game in your birthday suit. Trust me, it's awful. Which is why the line in Bon Jovi's song, it doesn't make a difference if we're naked or not, sounds so bizarre. The song isn't about showering or even having sex. It's about struggling with your partner under the crushing weight of being working class in America, which you definitely need clothes for. But then you realize, oh, the line is actually, it doesn't make a difference if we make it or not. Which does make more sense, and is way more romantic, but also ultimately kind of depressing. Blank Space, Taylor Swift. Now with this entry, we're a little more modern, but still one that bamboozled almost the entire world. When Taylor Swift released the single Blank Space in 2014, it took the world by storm, shooting to number one and selling more than 4.5 million copies. The song had skate punks and soccer moms alike gleefully singing along to the line, got a lonely Starbucks lover. Except those are not the words. The actual lyric is, got a long list of ex-lovers. But maybe I've had one too many grande frappuccinos, cause I can only hear that Starbucks line. Swift's own mother even thought the line was a reference to the coffee chain. So I guess we shouldn't really blame ourselves. And there you have them. 
some of the most ridiculously misheard lyrics in music history. Hopefully you heard me correctly the whole time. Did you think any of these Monda Greens were the actual lyrics? And obviously there are just too many great ones to fit into this video. So give us some more misheard lyrics so we can make a round two. You know where the comment section is? We look forward to reading yours. As always, if you enjoyed this playlist, be sure to hit that thumbs up for us and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a memory. From all of us here at Do You Remember, thanks so much for watching.